El Cap is a staple in this town. It's just been here for so long and everybody knows it. It's a place you bring your kids and you just kind of grow up around here. My dad was a regular at this bar and we came here very frequently growing up. Just growing up in this town and being a part of this tradition is amazing. You would definitely come to El Cap to have one of the best cheeseburgers. That is definitely what we're known for. There are many awesome items on the menu, but that is definitely our number one. The Cubans are right up there with the burger, the Italian sub. So there's something on this menu for everyone. You'll leave full, you'll leave satisfied, and we don't break the bank. The restaurant has been here since 1948. It's one of the oldest restaurants in the city. The Bonfilis bought it in 1963. It was in their family just until last year when Mary Jean passed away. Everybody was so devastated when Mary Jean passed. She was a presence. When she walked into that bar for her daily shifts, you knew she was the owner. She just carried herself that way. And when Mary Jean passed, she left her entire estate to myself and to Tara. It's still mind blowing to me. Cindy and I, my partner, are changing nothing. Keeping it the same St. Pete icon the way everybody expects it to be. So we're not gonna change anything. The menu stays the same, our daily specials are awesome. Got the best BLTs in Pinellas County and everything is fresh. And the produce is wonderful, meat is fresh, hand patty, never frozen. This is an awesome tradition, a great gathering spot. Working here for so long and now owning a piece of St. Pete history is life-changing and amazing. We're just very happy to carry on the tradition.